Days and nights Never felt so much I just can't shut up about you on my mind You settle me down whenever you're around, I'm alright I've always tried to be more than I am But you focus my heart when you're holding my hand I miss you When this happened, there's no way he could have done it. And while police say that they can... This morning I went with my sister so she could get her second dose of her vaccine and then we had some Starbucks. Just finished work and now I have to catch up on hood feminism so I'm planning to finish this either today or tomorrow night hopefully. Basically this vlog is going to be trying to finish the last couple of books that I have on my TBR. So this month I have finished a total of, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six books in total. Wow. Later by Stephen King. I liked it, but I rated it a 3.5 for so many reasons. That ending, I hated it. I have to finish Hood Feminism. Oh, yes, I can do it. It's I like I like it. Finished Someone Like Me by Marianne L. Thomas. And I rated that a 3 out of 5. Um, I liked the writing style. I really hated the dialogue between the characters. It was just very unnatural to me. I understand that the author put dates and stuff like so the reader can see when the events happen, but I feel like her relationships were developed super fast. I mean like she just met a guy and she fell in love right away. Even though the book was written like in between the years 1994 and 1995, I felt like the story was within a month. It didn't let you know like how much time passed. That's something that I didn't like but other than that I really loved the theme, I loved the message that the book gave, the main character, she was developed very well. Basically I'm gonna be focusing on my net galley arcs this, these three days these days before the month ends. I know I have two more days. I'm gonna be reading Dreaming of You by Melissa Lozada Oliva and she is the author of Peluda if you have read it. She writes books in verse so Dreaming of You it is in verse. It is a book about celebrity loss following a poet who resurrects Selena Quintanilla from the dead. It is an interrogation of longing, life, and death and I already know that I'm gonna love it so much. I know Selena Quintanilla's um, death anniversary is coming up soon, so it's perfect. Her birthday's coming up as well in April, so I'm excited to read this one. Part one, it is called Como la Flor, Tanto Amor, and then she does write her titles as some of Selena Quintanilla's songs like Dream of You, Chico del Apartamento 512. It has a date March 31st which is Selena Quintanilla's death anniversary. So this book will be released on October 26th of this year. So make sure you guys put it on your TBR because it's going to be uh, an amazing one. I will talk about these books later on and I will definitely keep you updated. <music> Hello. 
It is 9.45 p.m. I am currently reading Hood Feminism. I did a lot of progress. I've been reading for the last couple of hours and I am annotating it like crazy um, for our discussion on Saturday. Uh, I am halfway done with it. The plan to, for tonight is to finish this one. So I'm not going to talk about this one, but I am enjoying it. I'm going to keep reading it. I am have some tea here with me. I'm also watching Seaspiracies on Netflix. It's so good. It has so much information about the ocean and how fishing is damaging and killing a lot of sharks and whales. People go out to fish, they leave their fishing nets. It kills other fishes and whales and sharks, which are the most important thing in the ocean. And without them, um, there wouldn't be an ocean. Without oceans, we will die. So I definitely recommend you guys watching it. And yeah, so we're going to continue reading and I will update you guys later. breakfast we're having some eggs with cheese and I put a little bit of ketchup and I'm having a banana on the side Okay, it's Wednesday afternoon. I have a meeting in two minutes. It's been the busiest week and it's barely Wednesday just because it's our last week and then we go on spring break. So much stuff to do. I have to laminate some things today. And I finished reading Dreaming of You by Melissa Lozano and I really enjoyed it. It is verse. And the only book that I have read in verse is Elizabeth Acevedo's um, books, which Melissa Lozado's in verse books are completely different because it makes you think a lot about things and you need to really understand what she's talking about. There's a lot of imagery, the whole um, message of the story of finding one's true self. I rated it a four. It wasn't a five just because the writing style was new to me, but of course, if I try to read it back again, I will definitely um, be able to enjoy it a little bit more and understand what is going on. Oh, should I have the meeting? 
friends. So I just finished the meeting. I am gonna go make myself some dinner because I am starving. <laughs> Okay, it's time to make my mac macaroni. So we're gonna put a, a macaroni. My macaroni, I'm gonna put a little bit of meat. Put it some apple cider vinegar. The rest of the macaroni, we're gonna add two tablespoons of sugar and one fourth cup of milk. So it is Wednesday night. It is currently 9.20 p.m. Wednesday's video is probably not going to be uploaded tonight just because I have I had a lot of work this morning and I'm still working on these assignments or these little um, worksheets. So I'm putting together the months and uh, laminating all these worksheets so they can work on their alphabets and their months and colors and everything so that's what I'm doing right now also I got kicked out of my Instagram so I don't have no idea when I'm gonna be able to post a picture um, hopefully soon you know why because my dad starts school at 8 30 he can okay so we went to the 99 cent store and instead of going to Target we went to 99 cent store because Target I've been wasting like $50 every week and I only wasted $16. I'm so excited. So let's show you. I got some racers and then I got this air freshener um, which is rose petals and it's so, it smells so good. I got some Gain uh, laundry detergent. I also got these Tide Pods because we need to do laundry tonight. I got some Kit Kats. These are my favorite type of chocolates. And then I got some batteries. I got some gum. I also got this little um, freshener, gel air freshener. And a candle. This is Gardenia. Gardenia smells so good. I'm going to watch Netflix while doing these worksheets. And I'm gonna try to read some of Hood Feminism. And uh, that's pretty much all the readings I'm, that I'm gonna do by the end of this month. Tomorrow's April 1st. I think I finished eight books in total. All right, thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys soon, bye.